Hello, happy March. It is Thursday, March 4th, and um, I'm going to be starting kind of a weekend, end of week, reading vlog type thing. I am sitting out here on my porch. I have um, a menagerie of animals here with me. I have Miss Pippa, and this is my cat's tail. <laughs> Ozzy. I have a couple of plans this weekend as to what I'm going to read. Well, I had some plans. So I am currently halfway through A Court of Wings and Ruin. Um, here we are. Oh, actually, I'm further along than this because I was reading on my Kindle last night. Um, but yes, I'm actively reading this because I have this that I would like to read. And then Chain of Iron came in the mail yesterday. So I'm a little overwhelmed. Um, I would like to read all of these in the upcoming week, but I kind of said the same thing about reading A Court of Wings of Ruin and A Court of Silver Flames last week, and that didn't happen. Um, so yeah, I'm a little overwhelmed. And what do you do when you're overwhelmed? Just go completely off course and read something else. Um, I have historical romance here. Um, Maya Banks, I gotta take the sticker off. Um, in Bed with a Highlander. I have, um, I was actually just watching Men in Kilts, the like road trip show with Sam Ewan and um, Graham McTavish from Outlander. And it really put me in a Highlander mood. So I think I'm going to try and read this over the next couple of days. Um, work on A Court of Wings and Ruin on my Kindle and I have a couple of romances going on on my Kindle right now. I actually um, over I think on Tuesday or Wednesday I finished a mafia romance by Serena Ackroyd. Um, I read Filthy Rich which um, I was under the impression it was the first book it was actually the second book, but I ended up giving that four stars. I liked it. I liked the characters. It had like an alpha hero in it. And I don't particularly like alpha heroes, like alpha whole heroes, like, but he had a sweeter side to him. His name was Ian or Ewan. Um, and yeah, I ended up liking him. My sister is coming up because we actually, um, a stray cat came up on our porch a couple of weeks ago in the snow and we brought him into the SBCA and then we actually ended up adopting him. <laughs> um, and my sister is going to take him to live with her up in Northern Virginia um, in her apartment. So she's coming down here this weekend to visit and to pick him up. Um, she's naming him Rigby. I'll try to get some footage of him. He's really cute and loving and um, cuddly so yeah I gotta say goodbye to him I call him booger because I wanted her to call him booger she did not she called him Rigby it's fine I think I'm probably gonna jump into this uh, while Kit is napping and I will come back and catch up catch you up do a little update in a bit So it's not that much um, later. I'm just sitting here with Kit. Hey! And I'm reading In Bed with a Highlander by Maya Banks. And I just want to say that I love it so far. I am 50 pages in. This is about um, our hero. Our heroine is called Marin. And she is um, God, the illegitimate daughter of the king. So this creepy guy like um kidnaps her from she's hiding out at a nunnery yeah she's hiding out at a nunnery and this creepy guy comes and he kidnaps her and his like clan is bringing her back to where he's staying and he's gonna try to marry her um so when they're on their way back um this little boy who's like seven or eight tries to steal one of their horses and one of the clan members um, is either gonna kill him or harm him and Marin steps in and takes him under her wing and protects him and is like hey I'm not going to come with you people if you hurt this little boy 
Um, so they eventually end up escaping and the um, hero is the father of the little boy. Um, and his name, uh, the hero's name is e Ewan and the little boy's name is Crispin. So yeah, that's kind of how the beginning of this romance starts. Um, it's really, really cute so far. Um, I really like the relationship between Crispin and his dad and his uncle and the heroine. Um, he's really cute. I like the aspect of Crispin in this a lot and I hope he comes into play like in the romance between the hero and the heroine. Like I hope he kind of plays matchmaker, um, but we'll see. So I'm gonna keep reading this. I think I'm gonna finish it this weekend. There's something about historical romances that are just so healing to read. Like I feel like earlier this week I was kind of stressed. I had schoolwork. I had things that I feel like I needed to get done and I've just kind of been in that stressed mentality and just reading this book, um, I'm so much happier. I feel relaxed. I feel like I'm just going to enjoy the good weather this weekend and chill with my babe and my animals and my mom and my sister and just have a good weekend. Yeah, feeling good. I'll check back in when I've read more of this. Sunday, March something. Um, just coming back with my update. I did not actually film very much over this weekend. Um, my sister came to visit, obviously, so I'll put in some clips. I think I have some clips of me reading. I think I have some clips of Kit, and I think I have some clips of our cat Booger, um, which you'll have seen. Um, but he is gone. My sister is gone. They are now back in Northern Virginia living it up, um, united, young, and free. Um, so I did finish a couple of books over the weekend. The first one I finished was In Bed with a Highlander by Maya Banks. Um, I did like the way that this romance was written. I ended up giving it, I think, four stars. Um, I kind of danced in between 3.5 to four stars, but I went with four stars. While I did not lo love um, either the hero or the heroine, I did like the story and I liked the way it was written. Um, so there were times when the hero was just like, would say stuff and I was like, Ugh. and there were times when the heroine would act a certain way and I'd be like, girl, why? Um, but yes, so this is a marriage of convenience. There are some like trope, points of like um sick in bed sickness um there is the heroine is in danger and the hero is like freaking out um so if you like that kind of stuff and highlander romances i think you will like this one i do have the other two in the series i think they're it's called the mckay brother series so i will be reading those um yeah first maya banks and i liked it um, the second book that I finished, sorry, Kit is just squawking. <laughs> he's in his crib staring at his like little, he has like a fish tank thing on his crib and he's just squawking at it. Um, so if you hear him in the background, <laughs> that's what he's doing. Um, okay. The second romance I finished this weekend was Lessons in Corruption by Gianna Darling. I read it on my Kindle. So this is the first 
in her, I'm not sure what the series is called, probably like the Fallen Angels series, something like that. I'm trying to remember what the Motorcycle Club is called. I can't remember it, but um, it's the first in a Motorcycle Club series, and I actually don't think I've ever read a motorcycle romance before. So um, this one is also a teacher-student trope. Um, it is high school student. There's also a kind of a small age gap. He, the hero is 18. He's the son of a motorcycle club president. Um, and then the heroine is like an English history teacher who is 26. Um, I ended up giving it three stars. I mean, I like the like found family aspect of the motorcycle club, but um, there were some aspects of the writing that kind of took me in and took me out of it. And I feel like I'm still kind of touch and go when the teacher student romance is like takes place in high school. But it had an ending where it was kind of like, okay, everything's good now. <laughs> so yeah, so I gave that three stars. Um, I am still reading A Court of Wings and Ruin on my Kindle. I'm not, I have not finished that. Um, hopefully we'll see if I can get, make some leeway to, um, tonight because I just need to finish that. Um, I think I'll probably wrap up the vlog here. Sorry I did not, uh, film as much this weekend. Um, yeah, I was just enjoying time with my family. What can you do? Um, yeah, so thanks for watching. Uh, I will be back with more reading updates next time.